flexible rooms, rustic design, this house really stands out. But just how much is this rocky residence worth? Find out on Bikini Bottom Dream Homes. 120 Conch Street is an original Patrick Star design, built by the owner from the ground down. I built my house all by myself. Perhaps the most notable feature is the totally customizable layout of the home. Polished sandstone surfaces bring the interior from rustic to resplendent. Everything in the house is made from the same material. It's a big design choice and a lot to maintain. Well, let's go jellyfishing. We don't have any work to do. Life is just a big bowl of fancy assorted cashews and nobody has anything to dust or to clean or to wipe or fabricate. Now let's talk about the living room configuration first. A comfortable parlor setup is ideal for intimate gatherings like family reunions, both real and fake. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm really meeting you for the first time. Isn't that right, Janet? You bet, Marty. Janet? Marty? Who are you people? Marty, I'm scared. The great room can also adapt into a formal dining room, complete with fine china. The good place. A dugout kitchen is filled with enough food for any appetite. And of course, what bachelor pad would be complete without a mini fridge? This one is stocked with sand. Bottom feeders. And here's the real beauty of this home. The living slash dining room can turn into a full master bedroom. Simple yet sophisticated, the bedroom is spacious and serene. You could really sleep like a rock in here. Gee, Patrick sure is a heavy sleeper. <gasps> Who said that? And no detail is overlooked, right down to the alarm clock for vital appointments. Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> In fact, I think the only thing this house doesn't have is an attic. The attic! <gasps> Wait, I don't have an attic. <laughs> Although the main room does boast a fully exposed toilet, venturing down the stairs brings us to a more private toilette. Also downstairs, a solitary dresser. Who knows why? The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. But with a ground floor as flexible as this one, who really needs a second floor anyway? The totally temporary furnishings mean this home is a blank slate for fresh design schemes. From a cozy man cave, or rather star cave, to a rich regal hall. Do you think the giant flat screen TV should go over the fancy egg display or the indoor swimming pool? I mean, this really speaks to the flexibility of this house. An indoor swimming pool with a diving board? Really, the ground's the limit here. Indeed, if you can dream it and dig it, you can do it. From a fully functioning hotel. May I take your bags, Mr. Star? Oh, I don't have any bags. Uh. Follow me, sir. Your room is right this way. To a giant tanning bed. There. Now that we've turned your rock into a tanning bed, we're sure to get tan enough for the party. Of course, nothing tops the top of this rock for sunbathing and relaxation. Huh? The roof opens fully, making for an unforgettable entryway. Well, aren't you going to show us inside? He probably forgot where it is. Let me lead the way so we don't get lost, huh? Hold hands now. But this home is truly set up for a life of leisure. The home is ideally situated for pursuits like enjoying Krabby Patties visiting Glove World, and partaking in Double Weenie Wednesday down at Weenie Hut Juniors. But I'm always here on Double Weenie Wednesday. Actually, they moved Double Weenie Wednesday to Friday. And besides, today's Monday. Oh, so it's Mega Weenie Monday? Uh, that's now on Sunday. Barnacles. 
But the true appeal of this home has to be the utterly unique style. Now sure, this seems like a comfortable home, but it's also a high concept architectural experiment. Truly a leap forward in home construction. It's groundbreaking. This thoroughly modern modular mansion is valued at a stunning $48. Really, at the end of the day, it's mostly sand and spit. I don't know what you were expecting. But no matter its worth, this house has become a priceless home for Patrick Starr.